Hey guys, my name is JK Denim and in honor of the live action Lion King movie, Pop Sugar and I have collaborated on this very cute extra wow Nala cake. Wow, I did a good job. I'm like reviewing the footage while I'm talking to you and I'm impressed. So let's get started. So I'm starting out with an eight inch round cake and I chose Funfetti. I love the way Funfetti looks on camera, which is why most of my cakes are Funfetti. I cut it into three equal slices. The top slice I'm just going to eat off camera because it's cake and cake is yummy. You disagree with me? Now let's start to stack. So I'm using the top as my bottom and just adding some buttercream into the middle, threading it around with my spatula and then adding the top. I created a template to create Nala's face and I'm just going to cut it out with a, what kind of knife is that? Filet knife? I don't know if that's the right knife for the job, but that's what I'm using. <laughs> I guess it works pretty well. Now I'm just gonna tear away all of the excess cake and then start to round out my Nala shape. Now I wanted to add some dimensions to this cake, but this isn't a 3D cake. If you look at it from the sides, it's pretty flat, but I'm a fool you when you look at it from the top. I made her ear just a little bit lower so that it looks like it's behind her. Then I gave this entire cake a crumb coat. I added on some white fondant to create her snout. Now I want the snout to be just a little bit higher than the rest of the cake so that it fools you into thinking that there's an even longer snout. After I finished blending it into the cake, I placed my cake into the fridge for about 30 minutes just so all the icing could stiffen up. Then I covered it with a very large piece of Nala color fondant. I was really excited when they asked me to work with them. I showed them a picture of my I just can't wait to be king Simba cake and I thought it'd be pretty cool if our first collaboration together was to create a Nala partner cake to this. And so that's why we're doing it now. now if you want to see my Simba cake, it is on the Quali Pops YouTube channel. Now I cut away all of the excess fondant and just started to really shape my Nala's features. Just using fondant tools to push the ear behind and start to really craft the face. And when I was adding all of Nala's features, I had to keep in mind that her face isn't like straightforward. It's like off to the side, just a little bit. She's giving you a little bit of that really cute side eye. So I had to make sure that all the pieces I created weren't symmetrical. The hardest part about this cake is just cutting out all of the fondant pieces. And if you want to recreate this cake, I will link my very rough, very Google image searched picture that I used to create this. To shape Nala's face, I'm just layering different colors of fondant on top of each other to create all of her features. Now the thing that I loved about Nala and Simba's relationship was that they had the kind of friendship where if they didn't see each other for a very long time, the day that they met up again, it was like no time had passed. I love friendships like that. Those types of friendships are very rare, especially for people like me who just generally don't like people. <laughs> and when you're able to find somebody like that or when you grow up with somebody like that and they become more than friends, that love story, man. Only in movies, only in movies does that happen. Only in movies without people and only lions does that happen. Creating Nala's eyes were probably the most satisfying and they were the most work because I had to roll out very thin strips of fondant to create all of the like eyeliner detail I think. The most rewarding part of this cake by far is adding the little white dots to create the catch lights in each of the eyes. They make this truly like come to life. Look at that. And voila, my Nala cake was complete. It looks so good. Now because the Simba cake I created is uh, I just can't wait to be King Simba. He has that like mane and I wanted to make sure I didn't leave Nala out. So I decided to give her a very salmon colory kind of flower on top. I know she doesn't have it in the movie, but I just thought it would look really cute. And I was right. That small amount of detail looks so pretty. Look, where are you going? You going to a luau in Hawaii? You look stunning, Nala. You look stunning. I love the way this came out. I'm really excited for the live action movie. Beyonce, 
you better do a go proud. Now if you want to see more of me and all of my Lion King content, I've got a ton. I think I've got like five videos. Make sure you check out my YouTube channel, Koali Pops. Now I'm curious, what cakes would you like us to create together? Let us know in the comments. Thank you, Pop Sugar, for having me. I love you guys. I will see you very soon. Peace!